excitement for the new season. And Greg, when you were playing, is there an opening day that really stands out in your mind? Uh, back in 95, I think it was, when we started the season with back-to-back with -back wins, and the team was feeling good. Then we uh, promptly lost 21 straight. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. At lead guard, it's Lillard with Simons by his side. Nurkic the pivot with Grant at the other post spot. And it's Hart in at the three slot. Simons with a screen on pool. And that one's good, Lillard. And you see the confidence Lillard has from that spot. You expect him to knock those down. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who had a chance to talk with Coach Chauncey Billups. Well, Kevin, look, he thinks their long-range shooting can make all the difference, not taking anything away from the defense they're going up against. But he did say he'd be surprised if his guys didn't shoot a high percentage from outside. Pretty confident coach, Kevin. Thanks, David. Always want to get those threes falling consistently. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Alert against DiVincenzo. Out to Thompson. There's the three. A rebound by Simon. Portland's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And there's the foul. It'll go on Jordan Poole. That's his first foul. Oh, they've got their eyes on him calling the foul right away. Golden State on deep. Lillard from outside. Lillard again missing. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. How about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. The Trailblazers shooting their first free throw of the contest. Nurkic a while to kind of establish himself as a starting center in the NBA, but it didn't take long to see it's a role he deserves. Now, here's Poole. Green kicks to DiVincenzo. Thompson sets the pick for DiVincenzo. Hits the three-point bomb. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. It makes a difference for them if he can establish his three-point shot as a weapon. Here's Lillard. 17 points in his last outing. Hits. Count that one from Nurkic. And with his skill, Nurkic can score from anywhere on the court. But when you're 280, his skills probably better utilized inside. Cool, no good. Trailblazers have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Greg, you take a look at Nurkic. He is at his best going against big-name centers. Nurkic is the kind of player who rises to a challenge, can be a bit inconsistent in what he gives you, but he loves the challenge of going up against the best. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Now, here's Poole. Shot clock at five. Thompson a screen on Grant. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Cool, no good. Here's the Trailblazers with the ball. They're on an 11 to three run. And it's Simons missing. That is not a bad decision to pull from there. It was just a little bit off with the execution. Thompson passes to DiVincenzo. Passes it to Looney. Thompson for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Because of his foot. Work in fundamental. Thompson always looks on balance and does a great job of squaring his shoulder. Grant sets a screen for Simon. And the Trailblazers another three. Outstanding start from three-point range. Their shooters are on fire. Here's Poole. He takes it in, and he banks in the layup. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. 
Simons kicks to Hart. A three-pointer, no good. Warriors trail by four. Pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Poole. Green with a screen on Lillard. Here's Poole. Some solid defense from Lillard. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Simons, the pass to Lillard. And the three off target. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Poole against Lillard. Thompson outside. Over Hart. Thompson with the bucket. Thompson's got five. We all know Clay can hit this. His accuracy from the mid-range is a reliable option, to say the least. Lillard from outside. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Thompson outside. To the middle. Here's Green. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Green's got his second bucket. Just won't be denied. Draymond's inside game a strength. Three-pointer Lillard. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. 12 straight points off of three-pointers. And the D looks shell-shocked. DiVincenzo passes to Looney. Thompson against Hart. Cuts off the pass. Spins. Here's Simon. And Looney sends it back. And it's the Warriors on the break. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. Now here's Simon. The shot by Lillard, wide open. And another three for Portland. And his ability to efficiently score, that's really helped him out in this one. Putting them ahead on the scoreboard. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Jerome, he's checked in for Jordan Poole. And all right, let's uh, take a look at the numbers for Looney, how he performed last season. He put up about six points per game, seven rebounds, and two assists. Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. Yeah, not playing outside himself, but finding lots of chances to do his thing and affect the game. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Seven-point differential. Well, Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody, the first lottery pick teammates ever to play in the NBA Finals, RJ, in their rookie seasons. Yeah, the Dubs' strength in numbers, it got bolstered by some of these up-and-comers. You had Jordan Poole, who was most improved candidate last year, and then eventually we'd love to see a lot from James Wiseman. And they're brought in, these younger players, Richard, are brought in in that great Take culture. Oh, there is nothing like culture. We have talked about that culture can directly impact a player's trajectory for his entire career. Mm. And he makes the first. 
and the Warriors making a change here. Kaminga's checked in. And so DiVincenzo nails both of them. And we see Portland revamping on the fly. A lot of changes. But it's not a rebuild. This new look roster hoping to keep the Blazers relevant while also giving them a greater upside long term. Now DiVincenzo after the miss three from Damian Lillard. Kuminga with it. Working on Grant. They get the rebound. Even Chenzo. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Damian Lillard. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block, force him to the line. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. A year ago, he had an 84% success rate on his foul shots, so he was a guy they were always happy to see at the line. And the first one drops. And there's a lot you can say about Golden State's offensive abilities, but their defense is also razor sharp. They, they know how to control the flow of a game. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. James Wiseman, he's checked in for Green. And it's Lamb in there for Klay Thompson. And so DiVincenzo nails both of them. And some might go as far, Greg, is saying Golden State's defense is underrated. It is kind of overlooked at times, and, and their shooting is so exceptional, it hides everything else, like how they can dominate the glass defensively. Love how selfless he is. Setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Now here's Lamb. Tries from 16. Jerome. No good. Park kicks to Lillard. Beyond the arc. Cracks in the tray. And now it's an eight-point Portland lead. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Covered by Lillard. And there's the pass to Kaminga. Here's Jerome. Covered by Johnson. And there's the call on Ty Jerome. That is his first foul of the game. Moody's checked in for the Warriors. And Portland with a change here, too. Sharps checked in for Hart. Trailblazers leading by eight. Here's Lillard. Johnson, that's for two. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Warriors have gone seven of 15 from the field to this point. Pass to Jerome. Out to Lamb. Three-pointer. Damian Lillard pulls it in. And it's Lillard with the ball. He brings it up for Portland. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Passes to Kaminga. Here's Moody. Pass to Jerome. From downtown. And the three ball is good. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And then Sharp with the dunk. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Now here's Kaminga. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And finished off by Wiseman. Oh, that's a big man move by Wiseman. Roughing up the D with that emphatic finish. Here's Sharp. Here's the floater. And it's out of bounds to Portland. I'll retain possession. 
And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Here's Johnson, and he uses the glass on the layup. And the Trailblazers lead by seven. So it's the Warriors now. Picked by Kaminga. Stolen. Johnson surveying the floor. The pass to Lillard. Back to Johnson. Over in the corner, Lillard. Just five on the clock. Shoots. Offensive rebound. And good that time. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Now here's Wiseman. And Kaminga gets it to go on the assist by Wiseman. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Pass to Sharp. Lillard, right side. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Lillard's got 17. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. 40 seconds left to play here in the first. To the paint. Here's Wiseman. It's deflected. Here's Lillard. 17 points in the game. For the three. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not so unlucky 13 shots. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Here's Jerome. Pass to Wiseman. Takes the three. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Portland enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. We'll return shortly. If you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Portland. Portland leading by 12. Here are the five. Portland has to start the second quarter. Nurkic the pivot with Grant at the other post spot. Simons and Hart are your wingmen, and it's Johnson in at the point guard position. The shot's good from Simons. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Poole finds Lamb. Out of bounds. Portland takes possession. And a moment now to check out who the Warriors have coming up on their schedule. On Monday, they'll be taking on Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. And then on Wednesday... It'll be the Detroit Pistons coming into town. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for the Portland Trail Blazers. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. Johnson outside. Pass to Hart. Wants to get it to Grant and does. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Oh, yeah, they're doing a terrific job not giving this hostile crowd anything to cheer about. And as good as Draymond Green has been on the floor, this guy will be an all-time broadcaster, already a popular podcast. Great TV studio appearances as well. The Warriors shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. 
And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great. About 77% as a team. The free throw drops for Green. And Draymond Green, the next broadcasting star. You've watched his work. Why is that? And Kevin, I think his basketball IQ is incredible. And we see that when he plays, but he can also vocalize it to the audience. And of course, Draymond is not afraid to say what he thinks. Both free throws, good from Green. The quintessential glue guy. Green does all the dirty work. You need one of these guys on your team because he has such a diverse skill set. Grant sets a screen for Johnson. feet out they get it again the trailblazers need to get off a shot the offensive rebound Nurkic and they call the foul so a chance at the line for one more coming up I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard that's a great way to find confidence always a surefire way to get back in the game. And the Warriors making a change here. Even Genzo's checked in. And you look at the young talent the Blazers have. A nice young core group that can grow. Simon's the big name from that crew. Now, here's Green, and he makes good on the layup. That's now eight points for Draymond Green. That's just bully ball. Green knows where he wants to go, and no one can do anything about it. Grant with a screen on DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo against Simon. The pass to Hart. From deep. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. This is the list of last season's top shooters from the charity strike. These guys were practically automatic. Jordan Poole on top. And no doubt he finished the season right where he should have on that list. He was far and away the best free throw shooter in the league. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. Now, the Blazers missed the playoffs last season for the first time in almost a decade. Coach Billups says, it's been a lot here so far, but I just know that I'm built for this. This is what I do, and it gives me the opportunity to stand up as a man to show that I can lead. I'm ready for it. Kevin? I think he is, and he's embracing the challenge, which is uh, fun to watch. David, thanks. Looney's check in for Jonathan Kaminga. Now about three minutes gone in his second quarter of basketball. Green the pass to DiVincenzo. Thompson sets the pick for DiVincenzo. There's Green with the three. Drills the three-pointer. Green's got 11 points. Green's floor-stretching ability, one of the things that makes this offense so dynamic. Simons from outside. The basket is good. That's his sixth attempt in his third make. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now here's Thompson. Five points in the game. Pass to Poole. Shoots the three. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touch by Grant. And let's take a moment here to see some of the numbers for Draymond Green. A very nice season for him last year. Last season, put up about seven points a game. Seven assists and seven rebounds. Fantastic totals for him across the board. I wouldn't be surprised if he keeps rolling. I think if you talk to anyone on this team, they believe in his abilities about a thousand percent. Nurkic with the block. And that 7-2 wingspan for Nurkic, he can just gobble up shots. He knocks that one away with authority. Uh, 
Rebounds and finds DiVincenzo. Six to shoot. Shots good by Green. He can take over games. Draymond doing just that in this one. Passes it to Simons. Pass to Hart. Spiked it away. Thompson against Hart. Steps back and fires. And it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut to just 11 on the basket from Clay Thompson. Johnson outside. Johnson with a screen on DiVincenzo. Back to Johnson. Stolen by Thompson. And the pass to DiVincenzo. Pass to Green. Shot on the wing, and there are the Warriors. Now with another bucket. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of this scoring. Hopefully, that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. Johnson with a screen on DiVincenzo. This is it to Hart. Nurkic setting the pick for Hart. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Johnson against DiVincenzo. Poole on the wing. Thompson a screen on Johnson. Here's DiVincenzo. A beautiful reverse layup. DiVincenzo's got nine points. Hey, Richard, last season, Spurs coach Greg Popovich moved into first all-time in career coaching wins. And you played for him. You know him well. Any memories or thoughts? about playing for Popovich? First, let me say congratulations to Greg Popovich because he is the type of coach and person you want to be the face of this league. You want him to be the face of the coaching ranks because he is so humble. He is so demanding. And you know what? He knows how to host a pretty good meal, too. <laughs> and you were a part of many of those, correct? Oh, yeah, a lot of those meals. And look, look we'll, we'll talk about the coaching a little later. But he knows how to do a really good meal. Now, here's Simon. Eight points for him. And there's the foul. It'll go on Josh Hart. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Jerome, he's checked in for Jordan Poole. Warriors trail by nine. Pass to Looney. Down low. Nice shot by Thompson. And it's nine points for Clay Thompson. Those high percentage looks are easy for Thompson. He's just got the touch for inside shots. Grant with a screen on DiVincenzo. Simons surveying the D. Now the pass to Watford. And Tremont Green picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And some changes here for the Warriors. Eisman's checked in for Draymond Green. Moody subbed in for Clay Thompson. Portland also making some changes. Sharp comes in for Josh Hart. And it's Damian Lillard in for Anferni Simons. Here's Grant. Last game we saw him score 32. Over Moody. That one rolling around and rims out. Warriors trail by seven. Pass to Jerome. Looney with it. Passes it to DiVincenzo. Stolen by Grant. Out to the wing. Lillard against DiVincenzo. Lillard the pass to Sharp. Back to Lillard. Five to shoot. And it's Grant in the corner. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. 
Looking at the last game for the Golden State Warriors, it was a win against the Utah Jazz. You know, Greg Anthony, people talk about Jeremy Grant as a scorer, but what about his passing? Significantly better moving the ball along. He's leaving no stone unturned as he looks to maximize his abilities. Eisman up and in on the layup. And now it's only a five-point trailblazer lead. Yeah, I love the job they're doing here of getting into the teeth of that defense. Here's Grant. Again, the miss by Grant. And he felt like he needed a little bit more space with the fade to get off his shot, but that might have been what threw him off and made him miss. To the inside. Here's Weisman. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Weisman's got four points now in the quarter. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Sharp the pass to Lillard. Kicks it out to Grant. Again, the miss by Grant. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Now here's Wiseman. He's got six, and it's in there. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Lillard outside. Pass to Watford to stop the drugs. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And nice to see the strong inside game they're playing this quarter. The Trailblazers have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And some changes here for the Warriors. Jonathan Kaminga comes in for Wiseman. And it's Lamb in there for Dante DiVincenzo. Here's Jerome. 17 points in his last outing. One fifty-six left to play here in the half. Yep, that one goes in there. Portland leading. Now, here's Sean. Over to the wing. Here's Watford. Hands the shot from the wing. Watford's got his second bucket of the night. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now, here's Looney. Five on the clock. Here's the pass to Jerome. Oh, good with the triple. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Grant dishes to Lillard. Fires from deep. That's a basket. His eighth from the field, 8 of 14. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And, of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. Here's Jerome. Five points in the game. He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Lillard surveying the D. Cans it from downtown. Lillard's got 26 points. Three-pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Inside, out to Lamb. Golden State moving it around. Looney passes it to Lamb. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. They set the pick. Lillard, right side. And Portland again with the bucket. You won't find too many players with a better understanding of the pick and roll than Lillard. He runs that set to a tee. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for the Trailblazers. A grand total of 28 points for him in the game now. They have no answer for him defensively. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here.
Welcome. All right, guys, let's break it down. It has not been the ideal start for the Golden State Warriors. The energy on D stood for disappointing. <laughs> they were slow to rotate. Communication was bad. No effort. I mean, the intensity on that end of the floor, where it needs to be, was just not there. And now let's focus on a couple of guys who have been getting it done in the first half. Not surprising to see two competitive guys who bring it every time they're on the floor. It's been a spicy duel to watch. Yeah, and uh, we know you like it spicy. No, I don't. Give me some milk. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. We're seeing a tremendous game from Damian Lillard. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. You talk about dialed in. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. For so long, the Golden State Warriors were waiting to be back at full strength. But when one guy comes back, it seems like another goes down. The injury buck has been a real challenge for them. The pairing up front, it's Green and Looney. Jordan Poole is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Thompson in at the three, the small forward. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Now DiVincenzo. After the miss, three from Damian Lillard. There's the triple. Good on that shot, and with that, the Trailblazer lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Clay Thompson. Injuries, though, are an obstacle the Warriors, RJ, have met head on. Yeah, it's impressive how they've overcome those hurdles, insisting on still playing their best basketball, even when they're shorthanded. And they've had a chance to develop some younger players when the older guys, the established players, were out. Got to use these opportunities because five minutes can go to ten, just like ten minutes can go to zero. Well said. Now here's Thompson. And another three for Golden State. You just can't let Clay find any looks anywhere from the three-point line. He makes quick work from the coffin corner. Grant against Green. Grant the pass to Lillard. It's good. Lillard's got 30 points. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. Alert against Poole. Thompson outside from deep. Another three for Golden State. Let me just say this. Clay Thompson is one of about 10 people in NBA history that you do not want to leave open for a three. The defense has to make it harder for him out there. And it's Lillard missing. Rough start to the second half for them. Only getting one of the past four shots to fall. Pass to Poole. Green with a screen for Poole. A shot by Thompson. No one's around. Another three for Golden State. Yeah, and it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Simons from outside. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got his sixth rebound on the night. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. For Portland, they've gone only one of five from the field since halftime. Very slow start offensively. Down low, stolen by Grant. Here's Simon. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And Grant's such a versatile player. It can do a little bit of everything, including setting up his teammates. The Trailblazers have yet to miss from the free-throw line. They're three for three. And, and their free-throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. spent two seasons, Richard, with LeBron James in Cleveland. What was it like to play with LeBron? 
Well, I like to think that LeBron was playing with me the entire time. That's the way I viewed it. But it was I should have reworded that. I'm sorry. Thank, My mistake. Thank, thank you. I, I think LeBron James was outstanding to play with just from a camaraderie standpoint. And he always wanted to make the right pass, which, you know, for pundits, they complain about it. But for a teammate, you love it. You love playing with a guy that tries to play the right way night in and night out. His understanding of the game must be off the charts, correct? It, it is so ridiculous the way that he just sees the game before it's happening. He is easily one of the smartest players that I have ever been around. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Johnson's checked in. Warriors on D. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Johnson sets the screen for Grant. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer, Simon. The three from Johnson. The three-pointer is right on target. Johnson's got seven points. Defense always had their eyes on him, and then he gives it away. Classic misdirection. Thompson looking for an opening. Nurkic with the steal. Passes to Grant. Now here's Simon. Defended by DiVincenzo. Now Nurkic. He's got eight. Grant finds Johnson. Shoots over Poole. Johnson's shot is off. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Johnson against Poole. Here's Green. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. You love how physical Green is willing to get, enduring the foul and finding the bottom of the bucket. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Trailblazers. Free throw, no good for Green. Well, RJ, you played against Draymond Green. Do you agree with him when he calls himself the best defender in NBA history? No, of course not. He's not the best, but he's worked his way near the top. I'll give my guy that. And look, he's a defensive player of the year, and he has been in consideration multiple other years. It's his versatility that gives him such a boost on that other end of the floor. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's got nine for the tie and Poole with the layup. Poole's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Pass to Grant. It's Hart on the wing. He's covered by Thompson. Double team on Nurkic. From the baseline. Second shot opportunity. Yes! And the foul. That one on Thompson. And that's one of the things Nurkic does so well. Absorb contact and still be in control. The Trailblazers have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. The Warriors making a switch here. Kaminga's checked in. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Watford's checked Find in. The one shot. Free throw good. Nurkic. Warriors trail by three. Poole kicks to Kaminga. Knocked loose. Shot clock at six. And here's Poole for three. Portland grabs the miss. 17 points was their biggest margin. Hart the pass to Johnson. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Nurkic a screen on Thompson. Simons finds Nurkic over Green. It's Hart on the wing. Three-pointer, Simons. He's now made half of those ten shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. 
He was solid in the first half from deep. He's a guy who can get hot. Let's see how he does here in the second. The pass to DiVincenzo. Thompson against Hart. Green with a screen for Thompson. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. He's doing everything he can. If they want to win, others have to step up and provide some scoring. Pass to Simon. And there's the call on Dante DiVincenzo. That's his first foul. Lamb has jumped in for the Warriors. Jerome comes in for Poole. Eubanks, he's checked in for Portland. Hart the pass to Johnson. Here's Eubanks. And here is Simon. It's stolen by Green. There's the dish to Kaminga. Here's Jerome. Outside, Lamb. And a miss there on the triple. Trailblazers leading by four. Here's Hart. Count that one. Hart's got seven. Golden State's got more than a 50% success rate on their three-pointer since halftime. They're four of seven. Jerome passes to Green. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. I like when Green looks to score. He's good at putting defenses in a bind. The Warriors have shot six or seven at the line. First one falls for him. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Sharps checked in. Free throws good from Green. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Portland Trailblazers. They lead by four. Here's Sharp. Again, the Trailblazers score. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's Jerome, covered by Johnson. Right side, Green. Fires the three. And again, no good by Golden State. Trailblazers leading by six. Passes it to Sharp. Here's Eubanks, guarded by Green. Eubanks, the pass to Johnson. Lays it up off the glass. And that's now nine points for Keon Johnson. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. To the inside and the basket is good green's got six here in this quarter so much focus inside from draymond even while being hacked lamb against hart to the paint it's stolen by green pass to jerome great pass to set up the lay-in now just a four-point trailblazer lead no settling for an outside shot there. They went right to the hoop. There's a screen. Hart against Lamb. A terrific move by Hart to score. Hart's got nine points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Outside, Lamb to the middle. It's deflected. Johnson outside. The pass to Eubanks. Now, here's Sharp. 
just five to shoot. Johnson for three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Here's Jerome. Seven points in the game. It's up a three, and he's good on the three ball. Ten points for him. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. Down low. And that one's good, Eubanks. And the Trailblazers lead by five. Smart anchor at passes, Greg, are really paying off for them at the moment. And also good off-ball movement. Everyone is paying attention and looking to create the best shot for the team. Two open that time made it look too easy. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. 125 left in the third. Johnson with a screen on Thompson. Battles through traffic and lays it in. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. It's a neck-and-neck -neck game in San Francisco. Jerome passes to Lamb. Here's Jerome. Kaminga dishes to Thompson. Golden State moving it around. Here's Jerome. His three-pointers off the mark. Trailblazers leading by four. Hart the pass to Sharp. Inside. Here's Eubanks. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got eight rebounds in this game. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Thompson in the corner. To the paint. Kaminga finds Green. There he goes again. That's his ninth straight basket. He's a perfect nine for nine. And this is where Green looks to score. He's comfortable and confident down low. Hart with it. For three. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Portland out in front. They lead by a bucket. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from San Francisco. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Yeah, and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Not just playing selflessly, but also making a smart decision with the ball. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. On the court right now for the Trailblazers. At lead guard, it's Lillard with Simons by his side. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic. Then there's Grant. And it's Watford in at the four. Here's DiVincenzo. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And here's Lillard. He brings it up for the Portland Trail Blazers. Let's it go with a three. The Warriors pull it in. Well, after the show he put on in the first half, he thought it would continue, but he's cooled off a little bit here now. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Covered by Lillard. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Shot clock at two. That shot, no good. Grant surveying the D. Lillard outside. He had stolen by Lamb. Pass to DiVincenzo. 
here's Jerome. Back to DiVincenzo. Kaminga sends a screen for DiVincenzo. Pass to Kaminga. And here is Lamb. From deep three-point range. No good on the shot. Good work defensively by Lillard. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. And it's Simons missing. The Warriors leading. Here's Jerome. Up top, DiVincenzo. Hit by Kaminga. DiVincenzo passes to Kaminga. And good off the lead pass that time. Kaminga's got the lead up to three now for the Warriors. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And Grant also knows how to score on tough defense. Got to hit him harder than that. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Pools checked in for Golden State. The free throw drops for Grant. And the combination of athleticism and defense Grant brings is superb. A guy who you can depend on to compete. Now, here's Poole. Here's Kaminga on the money from 12 feet away. And it's six points for Jonathan Kaminga. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Double team on Nurkic. Even Genzo against Simon. To the inside. Radford gets the bucket and the foul. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Man, this has been a fun one, but look, who doesn't love a high scoring game? One shot. Free throw is good. Now leading by one. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Poole kicks to DiVincenzo. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. Throw drops for DiVincenzo. Portland's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Lillard finds Simon. Lillard against Poole. Let's it go from 11. Lillard misses. Warriors have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Here's Kaminga. It counts. And the foul. Jeremy Grant picks one up. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Free throw good from Kaminga. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. 
Grant with a screen on Poole. Millard against Poole. Clock at four. Here's Watford. Portland again, missing. And maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I'm not sure who to agree with. Him. Yeah, and you're not going to just have the green light for long if you're chucking up bombs like that. Trailblazers trail by five. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. Warriors have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Pass to Lamb. Kaminga sets a screen for Lamb. The three from Poole. They get it back. Looney passes to Kaminga. Now Poole. Lamb sets a screen for Poole. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. And they're winning, but it hasn't been because of him. He can't throw in the ocean so far. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Hard, he's checked in for Portland. Free throw drops for Grant. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Golden State's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Looney kicks to Lamb. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Covered by Simon. Six to shoot. And here's Poole for three. Hangs home the trifecta. And the Warriors lead by five. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? The pass to Grant. Now, here's Simon. Nurkic a screen on DiVincenzo. Three-pointer, Simon. You know what? He's got to look to get other guys involved. The three-point stroke is off. Kaminga dishes the land. to Looney and they call the foul so a chance at the line for one more coming up use the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim come on Looney may be a veteran player but he continues to overachieve just last year, he set a new career high for reboundings in a single game. As a player, it's your job to keep improving yourself, and Looney has never lost sight of that. And the free throw, no good. And so Grant will bring it up for the Trailblazers. They trail by seven. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Now, here's Poole. Now, Kaminga. Back to Lamb. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Lamb with the screen on Simon. DiVincenzo kicks to Lamb. The tray. No oh, good on that one. And it's Portland the other way. Passes it to Lillard. Grant with the ball. Kaminga on him. Seven foot shot. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. And tough hoop there for Grant. Growing up in a hoops family, you know Jeremy had to fight for buckets playing on the driveway. And the Warriors making a change here. Thompson's checked in. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot.
And the Warriors with possession here. It's a one-point game. Cool the pass to Looney. And here is Kaminga. Pass to Poole. Five to shoot for three. Rebound by Nurkic. Nurkic has got rebound number 13 with that last one. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Now, here's Lillard. To take the lead. Goes back up. And Nurkic lays it in. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Timeout called the Warriors. He does not Timeout. look happy. Timeout. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid. And they're giving up a ton of second chance points. Green, he's checked in for Golden State. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Johnson's checked in. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last timeout. He told them, hey, guys, this is a close game. But if we execute right here, I like our chances. There's no need for hero ball. Trust one another. Make the simple play. Kevin, back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. Green finds DiVincenzo. Green with a screen on Lillard. Here's Poole, and there's a nice one-handed slam. We can expect a dramatic end of this one. Yeah, no, no quit by either side, guys. Neither team willing to give any ground. Now a timeout called by Portland. Nurkic kicks to Hart. Grant outside. Nurkic setting the pick for Grant. Back to Nurkic. They swipe it. Green passes to Poole. Back to Green. Good. He's now got 10 of 10 from the field is getting everything he wants. The defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. It's sad. And the pass to Hart. Johnson with it. Lillard outside. Shoots over Poole. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Lillard's got 32 points in the game. Now, here's Poole. And the wide-open shot from DiVincenzo drains it from beyond the arc. And the Warriors lead by four. And certainly, they are not hesitating, letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Grant outside. From the arc, DiVincenzo with the rebound. Golden State's got a disappointing 2-6 on three-point attempts here in the fourth. Pass to Poole. Green with a screen on Lillard. Poole with it. 
Now defended by Grant. A three for DiVincenzo. The rebound by Grant. Trailblazers trail by four. It's stolen by Green. Passes to Poole. Looney with it. Thompson outside. Down low and stolen by Lillard. Over to the left wing. Grant, that's good. And this team counts on Grant in those big moments. And you can see why you give him the results. Looney passes to DiVincenzo. And Green now, top of the key. Thompson, a screen on Grant. Lock at six. Yes, that goes in. Green's got 27 points. Over his career, Green has been in so many huge playoff games, so he's used to the pressure moment. Now a timeout called by Portland. They're trailing by three. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. A minute 42 left here in the fourth quarter. Takes a step back. Lillard finds Grant. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Grant's got it all tied up now for the Trailblazers. Green taking his time here. Poole against Lillard. And the shot goes in. Poole's got seven points for the quarter. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. That's a two from Willard. And again, it's Portland converting. Some players shrink when the pressure's on, but he lives for these moments. Pass to Green. There's 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Kicks to Thompson. Shot clock at five. The pointer nails the triple. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Yes! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. This is what he's known for. When it's an important possession, Lillard knows how to come through. Green with the ball. Now guarded by Nurkic. And you'll never see Draymond shrink away from the big moments. There is no lack of confidence in that young man.
free throw drops for Green. And, and really a great job to maintain his composure. How about the body control there? Now he gets the and one and turns this into a two-possession game. Now a timeout called by Portland. They're trailing by four. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Lillard. Count! And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. Looney, and so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. foul no choice but to stop the clock here no choice but to foul there but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line One boy, he wanted that one to fall. And he ends up making the second, and that will put them up by two. There's 18 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Lillard. Johnson outside to take the lead. Can't get the three to fall. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. That makes it a three-point lead. From the premier shooters in this game, in the history of this game, you want the ball in Clay's hands down the stretch. The second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. Calm and cool, and his free throw put a bow on this one. Nice way to finish the game. Right? So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors, pulling out the W. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone's satisfied. I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to it in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Draymond Green.